Okay, this is my apartment patio second floor garden. It's all in containers. I have some green beans right here. As you can see, they're coming in nice. I eat those weekly, I get about one or two handfuls. I've got a topsy-turvy tomato planter. Tomatoes are coming nice. I've got some corn seeds planted in that pot, hoping that they sprout soon. This is my newly sprouted cantaloupe that I planted, some seeds. It's coming in nice. Just started this pot tonight from seedlings that started in my worm composter. This is a green pepper plant in a self-watering container. This is my other tomato plant. It's my largest. Uh, I still haven't mastered the art of growing tomatoes. So you can see my tomato bush is greatly cut down, but hanging in there. Here is my pepper pot. I have green and red and also spicy peppers. And here goes my water system. There's the green pep, uh, some spicy peppers right there. Here's a large one. Now this is my watering system. I don't have a hose hookup, so I had to kind of be a little inventive. So I've got all these little spigots and some sprayers right here. This is my seedling contraption. This is my other tomato plant, my cherry tomatoes, my green onions. It's on a sprayer. Uh, I let my neighbor water my plants for me one week when I was out of town and he almost killed my entire garden. So as a result I decided to make my own drip system. Now I don't have a spigot to a hose so I had to be a little creative so I use this I'm not sure how many gallons but it's this storage container and I fill it with water I do about one of these a day one or two of them a day and I have half inch lines coming out of it I'm using a, a uh, pond pump that I purchased from Lowe's it's direct drive uh, so that it ensures um, good pressure at the heights like my topsy-turvy and my beans and I used a half inch line that ran al along the railing and a T splitter here and then I have quarter inch lines coming off the main line that way every line has the max pressure it can the ma max pressure available and uh, I discovered this through some testing. I found I was getting very little pressure with a magnetic drive pump and also getting uh, very little pressure having it all in quarter inch lines. So this is the end result. I have some oregano growing over here. And what's great about this is I just fill up the bucket and it does the rest for me. I have it timed to go off at 7 a.m., 12 p.m., and 7 p.m for one minute increments. So I'm only watering three times a day, three minutes a day, and this waters my entire garden. And my fertilizer source is my nifty worm composter. And this is the worm factory. It's an upward migration composting worm bin system. It's got five trays. It's got a spigot on the bottom that you can see the stain on uh, where I empty that daily for my fertilizer, my liquid fertilizer, and I filter it through this strainer into my bucket of water, which is where you get the dark, rich color. And that is more than adequate to feed all of my plants. This, this is my worm composter. I just threw this pile of dirt and worms on the top. They were, on, they were migrated on the bottom. I don't know why, so I moved them up here. This is the feeding tray. It's where I add all of my food. And over months of, months of time, you get beautiful rich soil. 
see if I can do this. As shown here. Dark, rich compost. And all I do is I throw all my garbage into this composter, organic garbage, that the worms can eat and they turn it into compost that feeds my garden. So for those of you that live on a second story apartment without a hose hookup and would like to have a garden, this is an excellent way to do it. And it's very little maintenance and you get to eat your fruits and vegetables on a regular basis. Thank you for watching.